What's the slope in this equation right here? Okay, remember, slope always is a coefficient of a variable. Russ? Nope. It is 3. 3 is my slope. X is a variable, so 3 is the coefficient. This 3 means, because slope means rise over run, it means that for every run of 1, I rise 3. So if I was to graph this, I would go over 1, up 3, over 1, up three. What's the 10, Casey? What's the 10 in this equation? It's either going to be the slope or the right. y-intercept. Y y-intercept. So you guys got to remember that slope and rate are the same thing. So this is my y-intercept. What about over here? Before we graph, what about B? Bryson, what's the slope? Um, over 1, down 3. Over 1, down 3. So it would be a negative 3 slope. So again, Bryson said it perfect. It's a rise over run. For every 1 I go over, I go down 3. That's why it's a negative 3. What's my y-intercept in this equation? Shaylin, do you know what my y-intercept in this equation is? Zero. It is zero. It is not there, but we know that this line passes through zero, zero. Because if you have a y-intercept of zero, that means when your x is zero, what your y is also zero. In this case, when it's not included. So this is our, our y-intercept. And then C. C is interesting. We haven't talked a lot about it. Yeah, Kira's got it. It's just a flat line straight across. So there is no rate. The rate actually is a zero rate. But anytime I have a zero rate and I multiply by x, what does it turn into? Zero. zero. So that's why you are not seeing that. So what is the slope also be zero? Slope is zero, yeah. This is the slope. And it's also rate. And then this is the the y intercept. And Kira's like, yeah, it's just a straight line across. <laughs> this one's really easy to graph. Just go straight across. If this is my y axis and this is my x axis, this is line C. It's this line right here. It crosses at 2 and stays at 2 the entire time. Never changes. It is a slope of 0. Um, moving back to B, working backwards, this is a negative 3. We know that this crosses through 0, which kind of makes it interesting in this graph. So I'm just going to draw this is Y. This is x. So we know it goes through here, and it's over 1, down 3, dot. Over 1, down 3, dot. And then going up, it would be over negative 1, up 3, dot. So this is our line. And that makes sense because it is a negative slope. It looks like a negative slope. It's facing the other way as opposed to a positive slope. This one's just the opposite. It's a positive slope. But this one has a y-intercept of 10. 10. That means if I was to count by twos, if I went 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, this line is going to cross the y-intercept right here. But then it's going to go over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3, and it's going to look something like that. 
Yeah, it crosses at the 10 point, right? If I could draw more, I could make it go on the other side. But yes, Allie, it crosses at positive 10 on the y-intercept. Now, if you were, if you're around like, yeah, I got like 70, 80% of that. Like I get this. This is going to be one of the, this is one of the questions out of the eight. So what? one of the questions out of the eight on your assessment on Friday. So if you're getting this, this is really good. If you got yesterday's warm up, like I said, you guys, we're not learning anymore. We're just moving forward now. We're revising and um, doing a bunch of review.